Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm um, going to show you how to install the Modular Sound Boosted PSU kit for the MPC-1000. And what it is, it's a kit designed to make your MPC-1000 battery-powered and portable, which is awesome. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to show you some very quick safety things before we even get into this. Uh, you're going to want to start by discharging the capacitors that are in the power supply by holding down the power button for about uh, 30 to 60 seconds, right? Um, and so while I'm doing that, I'm also going to tell you what tools you're going to need. Uh, let me reach over here and grab them. There's only going to be two. Phillips screwdriver. And a pair of needle nose pliers, right? You're going to need the needle nose pliers for one thing, uh, but that's it. Okay, so now that we've uh, sufficiently discharged those capacitors, um, we can take our hand off the power button. You see, you want to discharge them because at one point you're going to have to touch the bottom of the board. Uh, and if you touch those two points where the capacitors uh, are, you're going to give yourself a nice little shock. <laughs> Nothing bad, but it, it, it'll, it'll happen and it won't be pleasant. Let's look at what's in the pack that you'll receive. Here's the main board. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's break this out. Give it a gander. All right. So, yeah, here's the main board. Um, so everything is pretty clearly labeled. Uh, at least you know where the, the power switch goes and uh, the power in. Uh, and then this is going to go to your existing uh, power source that's already in the MPC. So you also get these cables. This is really important. This is, uh, you know, besides the board itself, this is really hard to get these uh, sort of JST connections and everything. So, yeah, you're going to get these connections here. Uh, I'm really digging this, this uh, power indicator light that's sort of built into the DC jack, which is great. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the power switch, which is really strange. You don't really need it with this kit because it's going to be powered by the uh, the talent cell uh, YB123000 USB. I, I, anyways, but it has a switch built into it. Uh, these aren't very expensive. They're about 25 bucks. So, uh, and the kit itself was, was uh, $90, I believe, plus shipping. So... Uh, basically, just for under $130, you could uh, get a portable solution for your MPC-1000. It's, it's incredible, incredible. Um, also, in the kit, you're going to receive these little brackets. You're going to need these because you don't want the, 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 this board touching any of the metal housing and casing inside the MPC. All right, so we discharged everything. Uh, also, uh, last thing we're going to want to do is put a bunch of uh, packing paper, <laughs> packing foam here uh, to uh, protect your MPC. So let's do that really quick here. Not working with a lot of room, but you get the point. Okay, now um, you can see I've already kind of modded my MPC to, to sit in a certain place with, with Velcro. Uh, we're going to want to remove the bottom panel. These screws, these screws, these screws. Also, we're going to want to remove the, um, we're going to want to remove this side panel here to, uh, to, to, uh, to get to the, uh, the power supply. There's a little, there's a little pin that we're going to use this for. All right. So I'm going to, uh, going to fast forward this here, uh, but just, just, Watch. You, you already know how to do this, but just, just watch. Cool. That was fun. All right. So let's uh, pull this off here and put that over there. All right. Uh, also, let's uh, pull this off here. Okay. I'm going to put Velcro uh, to, to attach this. So you can see it's a pretty good, pretty good fit. So it'll be pretty much one, one piece when it's done here. Um, all right. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to uh, take out the existing power supply. Uh, so what we're going to have to do here is unscrew 
the uh, AC uh, socket in uh, and then unscrew the, uh, the, the power switch board here. So let's go about doing that. We can pull this out by pinching this right here. Uh, be easy on this stuff here. Uh, usually the rule is to wiggle it side to side and up and out, right? Always be mindful of the amount of force that you're putting on that. You don't want to break this. Uh, I'm going to save. I'm going to save this just in case something goes wrong <laughs> in the future. Uh, at least I'll have the old power supply. All right. Next thing we're going to want to do is unscrew this board right here and take out the power switch here. But first thing I want to do here is, um, which one's going to be easier? I think it's going to be easier to take that off. Uh, I don't want to mess with those coils right there. Mm, there you go. Let's gently lift that up and out. All right. Next thing we want to do is get rid of this board right here. This is the main power supply board. Let's disconnect this particular cable. Remember, wiggle side to side, up and out. Gently. There it is. All right. Shove that over there somewhere. Okay, screws right here. That isn't the screw. That's the plastic thing that we're going to need to use next. get this out, we're going to need to take it on the side. And right here, you'll see that there's this little plastic nub. This is what uh, these are for. Make sure to hold the board with, with your hand here as you do this. There it is. Let's flip this back over. Sweet. Here's a power supply. All right. Let's put this back. I don't want to lose this very proprietary part here. Okay. So now, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> we have everything extracted. So where is this board going to live? This board is actually going to live right here. If we move these uh, ribbon cables aside here, we can see there's two screws. These uh, plastic brackets here will fit over these screws. So let's take out this hardware here. And there's some screws provided. All right, so the next thing we're going to need to do is unscrew these two here. And I'm just going to do one at a time here, putting the plastic brackets on. Yeah, 
next thing we're going to need to do is um, this bracket goes underneath here so that it doesn't touch the housing of this, this uh, board here. Uh, this board doesn't touch the housing of this uh, hardware, a uh, hard drive case, <laughs> jeez. Um, so what we're going to have to do, you see in this one, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so it has a little sticker here, uh, which will help it sit a little bit better. Uh, if I don't mess it up first. Okay, so let's pull this sticker off here. This is proving itself to be a little bit trickier than I had anticipated. Also, this screw is a little bit thinner than I had anticipated, so I might need to get a smaller uh, Phillips head. So let me uh, cut the video really quick here and grab that. Okay, here we go. Now, um, I wouldn't go too hard on this. These are uh, printed. This is printed plastic here. So I'm trying to go in a little light. This is just to stabilize this board into place. So you don't really need to, to tighten these screws down too crazy. You just need to be able to stabilize the bottom of this board here. Should have got a better tool. <laughs> All right. So just just so it's nice and nice and firm and snug on there. All right. There you go. So that's that. That's that portion. So the next things we're going to want to do here is uh, we're going to want to install the power switch. So let's uh, take this particular ring off. This is going to help stabilize it. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. It's going to help stabilize it. Now, there's only one spot on this board where it says power switch right here. It says switch. Boom. All right. Next thing to do is to, um, let's see here. Let me just tuck this in here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Next thing to do is to grab your DC in socket. And we're going to want to thread that through the body. See, I, like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this, and okay, there, you go, there it is, there it is. I'm sort of learning as I'm, I'm going along here. 
Now, since we've already attached the power switch, there's only a couple of places where these uh, particular cables can go. Uh, this one is much smaller than that one, right? So this is all making sense to me. So that's going to go here. This one is going to live over here. All right. Now, last thing we're going to do here is attach this connection cable. That's in there. Okay. Uh, all right. So now, is this going to go over here or is it going to live over here? Mm, doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right either. I believe this feels, this is feeling a little bit better. I just don't know about having those exposed. So, See, but it does, it is shaped to this particular switch. So, yeah, yeah, it, it is the way that it goes. Um, okay. I actually kind of want this to live over. In fact, do I even need this anymore? Uh, no, nah, I guess it, it's good for some sort of shielding. I believe that we can have this live over here. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. Now, um, the only thing left to do here, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's, let's fasten. Let's fasten this back into place. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm, re I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go with this. I've been waiting a long time for this. All right. So. Ah, sorry about that. Hit the camera there. I'm good. Okay. Uh, I'm just using the old screw from the, uh, from the old power uh, in. Yeah. Just going to double check my connections here. Okay, everything seems good. So let's flip this over. Sorry, but I, I keep hitting that. Uh. Um, yeah, okay, so let me grab the cable uh, that will link up the battery to the 1000 and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. This is the moment of truth here. So, oh, <laughs> wrong side, dummy. All right, this is the moment of truth here. I'm just going to connect that into there. I'm going to press power over here and this should work. Holy crap. Would you look at that? This is a portable battery powered MPC 1000. It worked. Good job, Modular Sound. I'm going to post the link to modularsound.io in the description. I'll also post the uh, Amazon link for, uh, for the battery pack. And I hope that helps somebody. Um, I hope it helped out Modular Sound so maybe he doesn't have to do a tutorial on how to install this. Um, excellent. Well, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.